Hey guys, this is Will from Will's blog of TravelingLife.com. Uh, my second video post, the first one went pretty well. I'm gonna just do this one in one take and see how she goes. Uh, but it's the night before my bike trip. I'm sitting here in Istanbul, I'm couch surfing with two girls, Nico and Rachel. Um, and I leave tomorrow. I'm gonna cycle hopefully from Istanbul, Turkey to Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan. I'm going to go through Turkey, Georgia, Azerbaijan, uh, ferry or plane across the Caspian Sea, a uh, small part of Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, and Kyrgyzstan. Um, I guess there's a chance I'll continue into China, um, but really that's way far off. Um, I have a bike, which is right over here. I can move the camera over afterwards. Um, I have my panniers unpacked, I'm ready to go. I look like a cyclist, I'm packed like a cyclist, prepared like a cyclist. I'm just not really a cyclist yet, so tomorrow I guess I kind of become one. Um, I'm kind of nervous. I, I've done all the research, I've done everything I'm supposed to do, and now I just got to pedal. This is the fun part, I think. But I'm pretty nervous. Um, I think in a few days I won't be nervous, but I'm definitely not, not ashamed to admit I'm nervous right now. Um, you know, I been on the road for about 16 months. Um, I kind of know how it works, I think, but that's with a backpack, you know. I know how to find places to sleep. I know how to make friends. I know all that stuff, but with a bike, it's different. Um, definitely finding places to sleep will be interesting. Um, I have a tent, of course. I have full camping gear. I'm told I'll be camping in gardens of mosques rather frequently, um, maybe beside gas stations and parks on beaches. Um, the other hostel to take a shower, couch surfing when I can line that up and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm pretty nervous. Um, this is something I wanted to do for a while, a bike tour. And a few months ago in Guinea, I was just riding my bike on the road to Mali, actually, just one afternoon. And yeah, I just came out with this idea to do this. So I spent quite a bit of time, money, and effort to put it together. And tomorrow it, it, it kicks off. Um, so yeah, wish me luck guys, I'll show you the bike real quick. That's my bicycle, it's a surly long haul trucker. Uh, I have my Schwalbe Marathon tires. I have my four Ortley panniers pretty much packed here. Um, I have my tent and sleeping mat and that yellow dry bag. My little day pack, I have a an extra tire over there somewhere. Um, I'm gonna set this back up on me. Let's hope I move this deodorant. But yeah, it's a new step for Wheels Around the World. Uh, it should be pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty excited. It's gonna be a great way to travel. Um, I'm kind of, like again, I'm pretty nervous um, to the point that I almost don't feel excited anymore. And I actually think it's kind of a good skill to have understanding sort of why these different emotions are there and not taking them, you know, taking them with a grain of salt, for example. Like my excitement hasn't quite been there in recent weeks because I've been putting the final pieces on this, but I, I know, you know, just from a logical perspective, I know how excited I really am. And when all those nerves kind of shed tomorrow and the following days, that's all that's going to be left. So I knew going into this, how much of an effort this would be to put together. And I knew that my excitement, my desire to do it was there. And I, I just kind of said to myself, even if I think it fades, you know, I know it won't have, it'll still be there under the wraps. And, and once I get a good rhythm going, figure out how my body responds to the bike and the hills and the road, um, get a good rhythm, finding places to stay, um, you know, screw my bike up a bit, fix it a bit, and stuff like that. That's when I'll really, really be having fun. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I haven't done much in Istanbul, actually. I've been here about a week. I've mostly been in bike shops. Um, today I was a bit of a tourist, went to the Blue Mosque, uh, Taksim Square, stuff like that. Um, yeah, maybe this, uh, this post is a bit somber, <laughs> um, but as my readers and stuff, I, I appreciate so much of your support. I, I can't even tell you, it really means a lot. And uh, I hope I still have it for this one. Um, I'm gonna try to pump out as much content pictures, uh, stories as I can. 
but for right now I'm, I'm nervous, I'm ready for a new step, a new challenge, and I think I'm ready to go. So I'm waking up in like five and a half hours. I'm gonna cycle down to the port. It's like, I don't know, seven, 10 kilometers or something. And then I'm gonna say goodbye to this, this guy, Brent, who, who owns this bike shop, um, Pedal, let me get this right, Pedal Sportif. I've been hanging out there a lot. Fantastic uh, bike shop in Istanbul. He's ridden from Istanbul to Beijing two times, so he's had a lot of great insight for me. Uh, so I'm gonna say bye to him, maybe take a picture. I'm gonna get on the ferry to Uskudar. I'm sure that's mispronounced, which goes south down the Bosphorus, but lands on the Asian side, and then I'll ride a road along the coast, the Bosphorus coast and the Asian side north. To a, to a town called Bekos, and then from Bekos, I'll ride to a city called Chile, which is like a beach town in Turkey. Uh, it should be about 80 kilometers, and that's that's gonna be day one. Uh, so yeah, wish me luck, guys. Uh, World Bike Central Asia uh, kicks off tomorrow. Um, we'll see how she goes. This is Will from Will's Blog of Traveling Life, Travel and Life. Thanks for tuning in. Signing off.